one thing leads to another and suddenly you're out front with the band and you're doing a solo tour because you started writing songs and now I'm more known as a singer and I feel like when people come up and see two drum kits on stage they say who else is on drums you know people don't even know that I play the drums sometimes Phil Collins adopte depuis longtemps un principe simple inviter les meilleurs musiciens les trompettistes et trombonistes par exemple sont empruntés au groupe Earth Wind and Fire une exigence de qualité qui se répercute dans les critiques et les journaux comme le Record Mirror qui juge les albums de Phil Collins dignes d'être joués jusqu'à usure complète de la platine. I'm a very demanding employer. <laughs> I'm glad you asked me that. No, I am, I am a bit of a stickler, really. Uh, I've got better, though. My albums and my music is very personal to me and, and I... The way it turns out on the record is really how I want it to sound. So when you get musicians to come in and do what you do, like Chester comes in and plays the drums that I play, Brad comes in and plays the keyboards that I play, you know, and um, I don't play guitar, which is fortunate for Daryl, because he comes in and plays what he played. But um, in the early days of my tours, like I say, the first two tours, I would go out there, and after the show, I'd come back to my room and I would listen to the tape, make notes, and sometimes that night knock on people's doors and say, listen, this wasn't right. Don't play this, play this. You know, or can you not stretch it so far? Can you just play what I've played, you know? And, uh, of course, you're, you know, you've got fantastically talented musicians and you're only half using them. If that, because I'm a very limited keyboard player and you've got a great keyboard player like Brad. Can you give me a different preset now? So now I, I actually allow for music to stretch a bit and for them to plant their own personalities on it. As long as ultimately it feels the same, or, is, or it feels good, you know, songs have to develop a bit. As soon as you've got 12 people playing something that one person or two people have done, it's obviously going to change. He's got a good mind. I really, I really admire his, his talents. Um, most of all is drumming. He's a staggering drummer. I wish there was more opportunity to work together as a bass player drummer because that's always kind of the that's the combination that I relate to and I relate to him now more as a singer songwriter and uh, but his his drumming is, is really astounding. worker I'm very seldom do you get a break in between when you when you go to eat they put up another tape already and you go eat you come back and you work but I have nothing against that kind of working um, I would say that personality wise he's very easy to get along with and work wise he works very hard and he makes you work very hard with him change as a writer. I, I didn't even realize he was a writer when I joined Genesis in 78, but when he, when he played the demo for In the Air Tonight, I was amazed at what a great song this was immediately. But as a leader, I've seen him get a little more um, confidence. In the beginning, he was kind of afraid to tell you what to do or tell us certain guys in the band what to do. I think that's, that's just part of growing up as a leader of maturity. I've seen a lot of that with him. Up at the back there, we got someone that's new for us this time. Would you welcome, please? Put your hands together now for all the way from Philadelphia, PA. That's Pennsylvania, US of A. That's United States of America. But no time to his hands leave his arms. Mr. Brad Cole. Say, say, oh. Yeah. No, he's a complete gentleman and a workaholic. He's really thoroughly dedicated to what he does and I think that's one reason for his success and his reputation the respect that he gets from everybody is that he is so firmly dedicated to what he does and not so much to just being a star for example he's, he's a musician first and foremost and I really respect him for that